Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 39th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to check out nested loops. Nested loops are loops within loops and uh, instead of talking about nested loops and trying to explain to you what nested loops are, I'm going to demonstrate them to you in a C program and uh, that will clear things for good. Right, so what we're going to try to do is uh, we're going to try to print this pattern through a C program and uh, it's pretty simple on line one you have one asterisk symbol on the second line you have two asterisk symbols on line three you have three on line four you have four and on the fifth line you have five asterisk symbols so you can probably you know uh, find a relationship between the various lines that on line one on row one that is you have one asterisk symbol on row two you have two on row three you have three so there is a relationship right and we're going to try to do this using nested loops and uh, it's going to be pretty interesting so let's get started as you can see using code blocks i've saved a file i've given it the name nested underscore loop dot c and uh, on line one in this file i have my header file on line two i have the main function on line three and four i have uh, curly braces and this is a classic programming example you know a lot of places where i have uh, been to for interviews and you know even the exams that i've written you know for different programming languages i've seen this problem being asked a lot so if you're a university student or if you're preparing for an interview or something then you know uh, please pay attention here because uh, nested loops uh, you know can help you do some really complicated stuff so it's 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 really nice if you you know get a hang of them um, in, initially so what we're going to do is we have to declare two integers first and i'm going to call uh, my integers i and j right and uh, I'll put a semicolon to terminate this and we're going to use two for loops and uh, for the first for loop I'll type in the keyword for and then within parentheses I'm going to use i as the outer variable and j as the inner variable that is for the outer for loop I'm going to have i as the control variable and for the inner for loop I'm going to have j as the control variable so I'll have to type in i here and I'll give it the value 1 right and uh, since we want five rows in uh, the pattern that we are printing i'll have to make sure that the outer for loop runs five times right so to do that since i've given i an initial value one i would have to have the test condition i is less than equal to five right and i would also have to increment i in steps of one right because uh, since i want the loop to run five times and since the initial value of i is one and the final value of i is five I would want to increment i by 1 through each iteration. So to do that, I'll have to type in i++ plus plus, and that's it. That's all I have to do for the outer loop. And for the inner loop, of course, it's going to be within the body of the outer for loop. So you have to first get in your pair of curly braces. And between this pair, you will type in 4 again. And uh, this time, we're going to use j as the control variable. And uh, I'll give the value 1 to j initially. And since there is a relationship between the asterisks that are being printed and uh, the row number, you know, we are going to have uh, our test condition for the inner loop as j is less than equal to i, right? So j is going to control how many times the asterisk symbol gets printed on each row and i is going to control how many times we're going to have rows in the pattern, right? So I hope this is making sense to you. So the test condition is going to be j is less than equal to i and if uh, you haven't understood this don't worry when i execute the program and when we see the output i'm going to come back to the code again and i'm going to clear things we got so uh, the update statement is also going to be j plus plus so we're going to update j in steps of one two and then within the body of the inner for loop we are going to have a printf statement that's going to print the pattern and uh, it's just, it's going to be very simple. Within double quotes, you're just going to type in the asterisk symbol once, right? And you put in a semicolon to terminate this. And outside the body of the inner for loop, you're going to have another printf statement. That this one is going to make sure that, you know, each time this loop executes, or each time you get to this loop, you get to this loop on a new line, right? So you, you have to put in the new line escape sequence between the double quotation marks here, put a semicolon to terminate this, I'll save the file, and I'll click on build and run, and you see that in the output window, we get the output that we need. We see one asterisk symbol on the first line, two on the second, three on the third, so on and so forth. Now let's get back to the code and let's try to understand what we've done. 
So as I said, the outer for loop is going to control how many rows we have in the program, right? So um, I has initial value one and it has a final value five. So it's going to run five times. So that's why you're going to have five rows. And if I change the value of five uh, of I, the final value of five from five to 10, if I save the file and click on build and run, then you would see that there are 10 rows in the pattern that we have. But since we want just five, I'm going to change the value of five back to five. So I hope this much uh, is clear to you that we're using the outer loop to have a fixed number of rows in our pattern. The inner loop is going to control how many times the asterisk symbol gets printed on each row in the pattern. So since we want just one asterisk symbol to be printed on the first line, we have initialized J with one, right? And since there is a relationship between the number of times the asterisk symbol gets printed to the row index, we have this test condition that J is less than equal to I. So let's say that for the first iteration, well, we don't have to assume it, you know, it is obvious that for the first iteration, I is one and uh, J would run just once because this test condition would evaluate to two just once, right? Because when the value of J would be updated to two, this condition would fail. For the next outer loop iteration, the value of I would be two. So this loop would run twice because the value of J would be one for the first iteration and for the second iteration it would be two and this test condition would value it to two and so on and so forth. And uh, finally, the logic behind having the printf statement and the new line escape sequence outside the body of the uh, inner for loop is that you want the printf statement or the new line escape sequence to be executed after the pattern has been printed for each row. So after the, let me execute the program again and uh, we try to understand. So after this asterisk symbol has been printed, you want, uh, you know, the new line escape sequence to be executed. So that's why you have the uh, printf, the second printf statement outside the inner for loop. So anyway, uh, this is all I wanted to discuss in this tutorial. I hope you guys had fun watching this. And uh, please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial in which we will discuss something interesting again. And uh, thank you so much for watching this one. And bye-bye. Uh,